Hi, I'm Jung Wan. I'm one of the co-founders of Illicit, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about how Illicit works so that you know how to get started. Uh, this is the Illicit homepage, so you can access it by going to illicit.com. And what you'll see here is that currently there are three different workflows that you can try in Illicit. The first one is find papers. If you've been with Illicit for a long time, you know that this is kind of the, the main workflow that you're used to. Uh, it's definitely our most popular one. Um, the, we also have extracting data from PDFs and list of concepts. I'll start with find papers in this video and then set, uh, explain the other workflows probably in later videos. Um, so uh, with find papers, basically what you're uh, doing is searching over a R database of about 200 million academic papers. We have a mix of uh, papers from every single academic discipline, uh, a mix of papers that are open access and closed access. Uh, and one of the benefits of Illicit is that you kind of get this broad search. So rather than going to a specific corpus or publisher, you can access all of them at once. You can also ask questions in natural language, which is really helpful and be as descriptive as you want. In this case, I'm going to try a query um, where I'll do something like, what are the long-term effects of invasive species in the Pacific Northwest? So you can see, you can ask a natural language question like that. And what Elicit will do is search over its database of 200 million academic papers using semantic search. Uh, semantic search basically tries to understand the uh, similarity in meaning and not just in keyword overlap. So you don't have to do crazy Boolean queries and try to include every single keyword. We'll be able to find you papers that are relevant even if they don't overlap in keywords. Uh, and we're typically looking at titles and abstracts to figure out what the, which papers are most relevant for you. Uh, to start, so these are, you know, we've gotten our results back. You can see the summary of the first four papers that we found, and we rank currently just by relevance, and we don't rank by date or by citation count. That will probably change soon, um, but uh, right now we're just focused on finding papers that are relevant to you. Um, then you'll get back a table of, of papers here. So of the 200 million, we found the ones that we think are most relevant to your query. Every single row here is a paper. For each paper, we're going to dynamically generate a summary of the abstract that is specific to your question. So all of these are generated on the fly, as are the sum these summaries. Um, and so from here, you can already get a bunch of relevant papers and quick summary of the abstract and get a sense of what, uh, what research has been done. I mentioned that we're not currently uh, ranking by citation count or by date. You can do that manually if you'd like, so you can sort, find papers you know, the, that are the most recent uh, or the most cited. And you can also filter if you're finding that you're getting too many papers that are old, you can filter to a specific date range and you know, any paper that's been published um, bef bef uh, after a certain period of time. While we're here on the filters, I can show you some of the other ones. You can filter for papers that have PDF. These are going to be open access papers. One of the benefits, Alyssa works best when we have access to the full text, um, as I'll show you in a bit. So uh, if you want to kind of get much richer information or you only want to access papers that are not paywalled, you can set this filter as well. It's filter for different study types. Currently we have review, meta-analysis, systematic review, randomized control trial, longitudinal. And in the case where you're not getting exactly the results that you want, um, or you're finding that uh, the semantic kind of relevance is actually missing um, missing some of the relationships that you care about or certain keywords, you can filter for papers that explicitly do or do not contain a keyword as well. So when you want something more precise, you can layer that in. And then uh, I guess going back to this table here, um, you can see we have information about the authors, um, the journal it was published in, how many citations the paper has, and links to the DOI, and PDF again if we have it. You can click into them. If you click the links, you can see the paper here and see the um, whatever information do ha do we, ha we do have. You'll see the abstract on the side, and then you can always kind of uh, access the DOI page and go directly to the paper page if you want. We also get our papers from Semantic Scholar, so you can open up to the Semantic Scholar page. The magic of Elicit really comes in when you add columns. So when you click this button here, there are a bunch of there's a bunch of information that you can extract about all of these papers. Um, you can we have a, a lot of predefined columns here. Um, our most popular domain is in biomedicine, so a lot of these columns are biomedically focused. But it's also very easy to create your own columns. So let's say you know we want to use a predefined column like region. You can just click on it. And then now uh, using whatever information we have from the text, so abstract, if that's all we have, or the full text, if we have access to it, we'll extract all of the regions of these papers for you. 
Um, and then if there's something else you care about, like maybe you specifically want to know what was the invasive species studied in the paper, you can ask this question, create your own column. Uh, when you create a column, you have the option to add in a description, specific instructions to really give illicit rich feedback about what you're what you want and iterate on this until you get the results that you want. This might be how you uh, give instructions to a research assistant, for example. Um, and now you can give that rich uh, context to illicit as well. And if you just create the column, then we will get the results here. So multiple invasive species here at the American shod. Um, deer, crayfish, etc. So that's it. That's how easy it is to create a custom column. Uh, if you click on these quotes, you'll see where exactly we're getting all of this information from. And you can kind of click through some of the quotes uh, that we think are relevant and check Elicit's work here. And then you can always open the paper and see where in the paper these quotes are coming from. Uh, the other thing that's pretty cool is you can do uh, citation network searching, citation trail, uh, citation chasing, citation trail searching um, in Elicit. So if there are specific things that seem relevant, um, like let's say, you know, we specifically want crayfish, we're interested in crayfish then we can delete all of the papers that are not related to the topic of interest and then we select the papers you care about and click show more like these and what we'll do here is search through the citation graph of this paper uh, we'll search through all the references that this paper linked to as well as all future citations of this paper now we can see getting more papers on the crayfish, for example. More seafood or fish species, not seafood. So that's the basically um, the kind of paper searching workflow. Um, this is the cheapest workflow in Elicit. So it's, it's the smallest number of credits, um, but you will, uh, if the more kind of columns you add and the more papers you search through, the more credits you will incur. If you are on a, a subscription plan, you also have the option to download to see it, export the results to a CSV and a bib file so that you can import it into reference managers like Zotero. Um, and then once you add columns, you can also add higher accuracy versions of these columns, which I might show in a follow-up video. Thank you.